Let's talk jig heads. It's one of my favorite topics. I just purchased these jig heads. These are eighth ounce. They have a really nice hook on them. They have an eyeball and they have a little willow leaf blade for a little bit of flash. And they were cheap, which was my favorite part about them. The only problem is they're not weedless. Uh, referring to a little weed guard, something that goes over the hook here uh, to keep them from getting hung up and snagged and losing them. And I hate losing them. And this one is nearly $8 for a single jig head, which is highway robbery. These jig heads are $12.99 for 15 And as you can see, it's a much better option. So my husband can add a little bit of red thread and some wire and be entertained for hours. But fear not, regular viewers. You don't have to lose them anymore. For the few simple tools and some tricks I'll show you here, uh, we can turn these into weedless jig heads. Like these. These have a metal weed guard that we put on them with just a little bit of string, some wire leader, and some super glue in just a little bit of time. So here's the tools we're going to need for this. I have my fly tying bobbin with some red string on it, some small wire cutters, some plurs, scissors, super glue. Don't do that again. And last but not least, the main star of today's show is going to be uh, some stainless steel leader wire. So we're over here on the other side of the shop at the fly tying bench. We have our jig head set up in the uh, vise already. Um, this one doesn't quite fit nicely, so we're going to have to be careful of that little point right there. But don't worry, my shots are up to date. And um, I'm going to show you the steps to turn this into a weedless jig head. So let's get started. So we're going to take this string or thread. I don't know why I keep calling it a string. Just wrap it around a few times. And we'll cut off the excess. So we're going to take our wire. All right, so I've cut a length of wire, and the way that I'm going to measure this is I'm going to hold it on the shank of the hook and bring it up to the eye and bend it around until it touches the tip of the hook. I'm going to put that area, a bend right there. And that should, that's going to make our weed guard here. So as long as that bend gets to it, then we're good. All right, so we made sure the wire is gonna fit. So we're gonna tie it on just below the eye, just with a couple wraps, doesn't take much. And we'll tie it off. Simple fly tying knot. I do about five or so of these. and then cut off the excess. Okay. So next we're gonna attach these excess wires down here to the shank of the hook. Uh, right now it, it's all floppy and it's not gonna stay straight, so we need to stabilize it. So just bend these out of the way and start a, th a wrap on the shank of your hook. Incorporate those wires into it and wrap right over them. And pull the tag end up so that it ties a knot onto itself. And then that's enough and tie it off. All right, so this is where the shape of your jig head is really gonna dictate how this is tied. But on this one right here, we're gonna just pull these down so that we can still use these hooks. So keeping it in the same place, I'm gonna just tie it around the end of the jig head here, I guess, or the beginning, I guess you'd call it, near the eyes. And then you kinda gotta zigzag it around all the little obstacles. Just 
just until it gets all the way up to the jig head there. And as you can see, it's pulling those down so that they're out of the way and that this weed guard now is going to be really solid on this lure. And that's good. And once we're done, we're going to tie it off. And so we've tied our final knots on here. So we're going to cut off that little excess. Then we're going to get out our handy dandy super glue and just touch a little bit of glue to each section. That stuff will flow. And on this jig head in particular, particular you got to be careful. You don't want it to get down here into this uh, swivel. So what we have left now is just a little barb right here. And you're like, what'd you leave that for? Well, that's a good question. I'm going to show you. If you take your plurs, if you take your pliers, if you take your pliers, third time's a charm. There we go. Nope, missing. Just kidding. This is terrible. All right. And now we're going to bend that little piece up and just bend it forward. Now we've made an extra barb right here that's going to grab your soft plastic as it goes onto the shank of the hook. And now to finish it, we double check that length. We take the plurs and we bend that down ever so slightly. And you can see now, if you go over an obstacle, it's going to go off there. But when you set the hook in a fish's mouth, it's going to bend down. This is a technique used by professional lure making companies. This will work. Uh, this is not hard enough that it's not going to stop a fish from getting hooked and it's going to go out of the way. But it's just stout enough or stiff enough, I guess, that your obstacles are going to, for the most part, go right over it. Just like that. So I've tied up three jig heads with three weed guards on them. And I'm just going to show you real quick. This is one of the soft plastics we made. I made it clear so that you can see uh, what's going to be going on inside here. Undo the weed guard. Flip this around. Keeping this centered. We come up about halfway down that lure and push it over those barbs. And there's the weed guard. And it's going to be hard to see in here, but that barb is, or that little piece of wire that is just sticking up ever so slightly in there, so that uh, it's going to be hard to pull this off now and you'll be able to catch more fish with it. And again, we've got our weed guard, which is going to get out of the way when we go to set the hook, but not so much that if we go past any brush that it's going to come off. And that, my friends, is a weedless jig head that you made yourself, and it's cheap, and it's quick, and it's effective. If you have any questions just let me know and i'll see if i can't answer them in a timely fashion i hope you have a, an excellent day and thanks for watching Hey, what are you kids doing? <laughs>